every year in April, we head out to Arizona to watch the Bullhead Air Show. And we typically stay at Bullhead Airport too. But this year, we learned of this little airport just south that doesn't have the signature prices and fuel is almost a dollar a gallon cheaper. Sun Valley Airport. Sun Valley is part of an air park with homes directly east of the runway. The runway is 3,700 feet long by 42 feet wide, which can be a little narrow for some pilots, especially when winds get gusty, which happen all the time. Which is why on this day, we flew in early to beat the 20 to 30 knot winds forecasted in about two hours from our landing, and they were spot on. Another weather factor to take into consideration is what time of year you're actually going to visit because if you come in the middle of summer, it is 120 degrees, which adds density altitude into the four to 5,000 feet range. As you guys can see, this is a pretty long runway, but the first thing you'll notice as soon as you touch down is how bumpy it gets. But with 120 degree weather, that asphalt is going to constantly be contracting and cracks are going to form. But they've done a great job trying to fill in all the cracks and keep the runway as smooth as possible. One of our favorite features of any airport, I think that most pilots go to, is having available a crew car. And this airport does have that. Now, that is not without its caveat, though. You should know that there are two cars, and one car is automatic. But there's another car that is stick shift. And when we arrived, they asked us if we were comfortable with stick shift, and unfortunately, I am not. And another thing, which is not necessarily 100% clear, but it looks like you can use the car for as long as you want because the person who had the automatic car had it for the weekend. So your mileage may vary, and I would definitely ask and inquire how long you can actually keep the car. Speaking of inquiring, if you're coming here for fuel, make sure you call ahead because sometimes they wait on their fuel trucks and when we arrived, their fuel truck had not arrived yet. We're not the first person this has happened to. If you go into the four flight comments section on this airport, it has happened before. So again, if you're coming here for fuel, make sure you call ahead. Another great reason to keep this as an option when coming to visit Laughlin is because it depends on the time of year you come. Now, last year during the F1 fiasco that happened in Las Vegas, there was an event fee. That event fee meant you had to pay anywhere between $1,500 to $3,000 just to land, not even a park, just to land. And unfortunately, that went all the way down in an infected Bullhead Airport, which is the airport that we would visit all the time. And if you come to this airport, you don't have to worry about that landing fee, and it's just so much cheaper. On the left there is an air-conditioned pilot's lounge, which is perfect, and it'll be right next to where you'll be parking. As I said before, they're doing a lot of upgrades to this airport, and when we arrived, they were still having some work done on the fuel pumps, and so they had to manually fuel our plane, and then we would pay afterwards. But I'm pretty sure by now, which is a couple of months later, their automatic system should be working and you should be good to go. But again, make sure you call just to make sure that there is fuel available.
All right, guys, it's time for our checklist. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you don't want to miss our next video, please subscribe. If you have any questions about this airport or maybe you have recommendations or suggestions of other airports we should visit, please leave a comment. All right, checklist complete. In the beginning of the video, I told you guys why we were coming. Here's a preview of that air show.